one strand of the Talent Institute programme is sports. And it's really exciting. We have ambition that these will be fantastic young people. They already are. And some have ambition to be in Tokyo. Wouldn't it be fantastic that the first cohort of Quirkus Talent Institute programme participate in Tokyo? We'd be really proud if they did. And if they don't, well, harm, that's okay. All we really want is these young people to excel for them, that they stretch themselves, that they succeed. If they get to the podium, it's brilliant, but once they do what's best for them, that's what we're really interested in. Well, when you have high achievers, as we have in the Quirkus Scholarship Scheme, it means that not alone do they come to university to fulfil their academic potential, but also their other potential. And that can involve training sessions above and beyond the normal training sessions they could be in. Some of these scholars are in twice a day training. They have a full day's academic um, timetable, then they need to study. And the scholarship is to go to help that. It's not just about giving them money. In fact, they get very little cash up front. They, a lot of what they get is uh, maybe accommodation, uh, help with their fees so that they don't have to go off working towards the summer months trying to raise their money to go to university. That allows them to concentrate fully then on their um, sporting and their academic uh, potential. Well, I'm in first year at the moment and um, I'm doing four subjects. I'm doing computer science, philosophy, psychology and sociology. I'm trialling for the under 23 uh, Irish team this year. So the under 23 World Championships are in Bulgaria this year in July. They have two boats that they're aiming to put ahead, so hopefully um, I can push myself out and make a seat in one of those. The ultimate goal would to reach Tokyo 2020 and the Quirkus programme would definitely help me uh, along the path to that with the support system they have. Basically last year I was in the lecture hall and up in the screen was just thing in the corner saying Quirk of Scholarship. So I went through it anyway, applied for it, um, put down all my achievements and last year I suppose we won the Sigerson and um, I was man to match in the final and I was on the Cork senior team as well so I thought I had a fair chance of getting it anyway and then during the summer then I just went for an interview and then I was told a few months later I got the scholarship so but I suppose the Quirk is very beneficial to me obviously. Financially, the um, biggest thing was probably the fees paid. And um, then also like Declan, Michelle and everyone kind of helped me balance college and football. But they was always there to help um, give me advice and if there's ever, ever a problem, they're always available. Uh, I'd like to obviously cement my place in the Cork senior team, probably come championship, they're the games you want to be playing. The guidance offered through the Quirk scheme helps me balance hockey, my social life, my academic life um, and everything, they kind of helped me make a plan. I was a few points short of my course so because of the Quirkus scheme they compensated because of um, they know how much time and effort I put into the sport and if I hadn't been playing it that I would have been able to study and then get the points so they compensated and let me in. My ultimate goal would be to make the Irish women's senior hockey team represent the country in Tokyo in 2020 Olympics. Basically we get academic mentors, mentors in our sports, we get help with everything we want. Um, if we ever need any outside help with anything, um, we have support there. It's like a scaffolding around us. I play camogie for the Cork senior team and I play soccer for the Irish under 19. So um, I play both sports at a high level. We have meetings with Declan Kidney every now and then and he asks us how we're getting on and he'll draw us up a timetable of what we can do and what we can't do and he makes sure as well we're not doing too much. And this year I was lucky enough to be called into the Cork senior team after minor championship. I always wanted to play Cork senior camogie so I finally got the opportunity to do that. In the final we beat Kilkenny so I won an All-Ireland medal after playing just three matches so I was with it. The Irish under 19 girls team, uh, we reached the European finals so we need to go to Norway and in our group we were drawn against the three best teams so Sweden, Spain and England and we ended up beating the three of them to get to the semi-final of Europe so we were in the top four of Europe this year. If I didn't have Quirkus I probably wouldn't be doing pharmacy or I would either be doing pharmacy and not playing one of my sports so it definitely helped me to hopefully keep up the three of them. So. I really, really like the head of the water. It's, it's relaxing like in the sense of 
I don't know, you kind of like, it's just you out there, but at the same time, it's it's tough, like you're pushing yourself physically as well. So it's kind of a good balance. That sense. The Quercus is brilliant. It helps me balance my uh, my sport, sailing, and my studies, which I, to be honest, I wouldn't be able to do if I didn't have it, I don't think. It helps in the sense of I have an academic mentor now, um, Professor Jer Kiley. If I ever have any academic problem, I just go straight to him and he'll help me sort it out. There's an event now the third week in January in Miami. It's a World Cup event, which is uh, towards your um, your world ranking, which in turn like adds up to Olympic qualifying. Really. Uh, yeah, if it wasn't for the Quercus program, I wouldn't be able to attend events uh, in the middle of college. It would just be, it'd be too hard. You'd, be, you'd miss so much college, and you wouldn't have the people to help catch up with it afterwards. Well, I play soccer, and I've been playing since I was about 10 years old. Just gone July, we went to Norway with the under-19 women's international team for soccer, and we competed in the European Championships in the finals. And we managed to reach the semi-finals, but unfortunately we lost against the Dutch team, who went on to win it. So it was a bit of a consolation that they did go on to win it. Quercus can definitely facilitate me in my progress because there's so much on offer, like say sports psychology, sports nutrition, you know, uh, physio if we needed anything that will, you know, help us to reaching our goals while we're here at university. Declan Kidneys definitely helped me maintaining my sport and my academic side of things because, you know, here at UCC it's it's really important to, you know, to do well in your sports, but also, you know, I'm here to get a degree at the same time. Well, I just always had a hurling in my hand growing up. I've always kind of been involved in hurling, and my father, I wouldn't say he pushed it on me, but he was an advocate. Um, hurler as well and it just kind of was always part of growing up and things a few years ago started to get serious when I started making on to Clare teams and it's just there's nothing better than going out in front of a stadium and people and playing, doing what you love and expressing yourself and I'd heard back that a couple of colleges weren't actually as accommodating as UCC so it kind of, not that it made my decision but it certainly was a factor. Like that's what I'd love, <laughs> I'd love to win the All-Ireland next year and I'd love to, I'd love an All-Star like but outside of that then like I'd put a 1-1 one, one in my degree above getting an all-star like so it's kind of a balancing act at the same time. It's handy to have that little extra thing in your CV that you've been recognised by your college. The Quirks programme is it's a massive help and even if not anything else financially it makes a massive difference if you're coming from outside of Cork like myself to be able to get like free accommodation or something like that inside in a student accommodation is huge like. Even like the lecture halls in them are really nice and campus is it just looks good and I don't know, if you weren't in a good mood, like even if you don't have lectures on, like walk through the campus and you'll feel so much better after it kind of thing. Like uh, Cork people are great actually. They actually <laughs> they, I thought they'd be miserable over what happened last September, but that wasn't the case at all. They like everyone took it very well in fairness. I wouldn't take it that well.